Next question is from Fat Husband. <laughs> I put this one in. <laughs> My doctor just recently put me on Xanax for anxiety issues. I feel this is just a Band-Aid. What are some better, more natural approaches to helping eliminate anxiety? We just uh, talked earlier about um, you know us trying out Ned's new product, right, for sleep. I would say that this is probably the number one use for that product. So when people, the Ned product in general, right, so the full spectrum hemp, mm -hmm. uh, when I get DMs from people that are using, like this is how they're using it more than anybody, more than anything else. Yeah, and that's where the research is pointing to, aside from the kind of just general anti-inflammatory effects, which inflammation systemically can definitely cause uh, feelings of anxiety or even depression if connected it, uh, to both. But besides that, um, the studies show that that's one of the more useful uh, or you know pragmatic uses of CBD and the and, and the other cannabinoids. You know, it's funny. I I had a client that I, I used to train a lot of doctors, and I remember I got in this great discussion with one of my doctor clients who was very open minded, and we got in this big old debate about um, using medications to treat certain issues. And anxiety came up, and I said, it, as, you know, I got in this bit. And I'm I'm a fitness guy, right? I'm a health and fitness guy, so my standpoint was it's a band-aid you're not fixing the problem a lot of people's anxiety comes from the fact that they have poor stress management poor mm -hmm. health they're not exercising not getting good sleep they're not mm -hmm. getting good sunlight if you fix those things oftentimes you see anxiety dramatically reduced which is true and i had experiences with clients and the doctor that i was uh, debating with said to me they said look you're right oftentimes the root cause has to do with just generally improving your health. They said, but if you get stuck in a loop of anxiety, sometimes it's so bad that you can't even stop to to look at the anxiety because you're just dealing with it. Mm -hmm. So sometimes, and, and I love the way that they put it, they said, sometimes without, you know, I've seen patients like this where I'll put them on Xanax, but then they'll also do other things to improve their health. And what the Xanax does is it allows them to step outside of that anxious mm -hmm. cycle that feels so nasty long enough to address it with lifestyle changes and then slowly wean themselves it's off. It's like an intervention. Yes, and that made perfect sense yeah. uh, from the doctor. Um, but yeah, are there natural methods? Try uh, the uh, CBD and the other cannabinoids in hemp. It's very, very effective in my experience. I don't, I'm not going to uh, advise you to replace your Xanax. That is uh, something for your doctor. That's not something I could recommend um, on this podcast. But also consider this, that uh, a lot of anxiety uh, or this general anxiety from people is due from issues with health. And I don't mean necessarily terrible health, like you have heart disease or diabetes, although those can contribute. I mean, your lifestyle maybe mm. needs some tweaking. You may be doing too much. You may not be taking care of yourself enough. Your sleep might be off. You're not active, exercise. Yeah, you're not using a lot of your pent-up energy is one thing, one huge factor that I found. Uh, and as well, you're consuming a lot of uh, news and, and things that are really alarming that are happening all over the world. And I just don't find that that helps at all. It just exaggerates the issue uh, completely with the anxiety. Yeah, the anxiety is obviously on the rise, right? Because people are not going out as much, not seeing each other as much. People aren't exercising as much. It's funny when they do studies on on children, and they do these with uh, both with ADD and anxiety um, and p children with signs of depression. When they get them out and active and exercising, um, they see a, a phenomenal uh, difference. Same thing with adults. Uh, I know for depression and anxiety, uh, appropriate exercise and dietary interventions, in some cases, has been shown to be as effective as medication for treating kind of this moderate levels of, uh, of anxiety um, and depression. And some scientists and doctors will even say that it's better for long term because in the long term, as you continue to do these things, health continues to improve and things get you know better and better and better. And, and now here's the, 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 the downfall of that, or I would say the, the challenge. It's more, it's a systemic long term and probably a harder to apply approach because on the one hand, you have a pill. On the other hand, you have oh, I got to change my lifestyle. Yeah. Like that's that's a that's a difficult one. Mm -hmm. um, so you kind of you know you got to ask yourself that question. You know, is this something I want to do forever? Do I want to see if I can work with my doctor? You know, I've had clients who've done this where they talk with their doctor and say, okay, I'm going to start making these changes, 
And then can you put me on a protocol of slowly lowering my dose of Xanax and then weaning myself off to see if my lifestyle practices uh, or changes are making an impact? And I've had quite a few clients uh, find success that way. It's a long process, though. Yeah, and not like taking it all on at once. So like trying to really reverse like all these habits that you've established that might, you know, it might just take one thing at a time, like just getting out and for walks and being out in the sun and starting there and, uh, you know, starting to build off of that. But like using, like you said, that is an intervention. I think that's a smart way to do it.